the next item is uh, seeking your approval on the recommended 2021-2022 targeted redistricting plan to address over um, overcapacity issues specifically uh, at Co Colonial Trail and Rivers Edge Elementary Schools. And uh, again, would remind uh, folks that this was part of what was a larger effort uh, that was narrowed specifically to deal with targeted issues related to redistricting. There have been uh, public hearings on this as well as a number of presentations to date. So um, we're now at the point of seeking approval to finalize that plan. But before we do that, would just uh, offer an opportunity for staff to provide an overview of that plan and then seek board approval. Yes, good afternoon again, Madam Chair, members of the board and Dr. Cashwell. I just want to remind everyone of where we are in the redistricting process. Mr. Sorensen provided the last update at the November 12th school board meeting. And at that time he shared that on September 24th, this board discontinued the comprehensive redistricting process and directed staff to look at three priority areas. In November, staff held three community meetings to gather input. On November 2nd, Ms. Shea and Ms. Ogburn hosted a virtual community meeting to gather input on the feeder pattern for Cuyacuson Middle School and Tucker High School. On November 9th, Ms. Ogburn and Ms. Kinsella hosted a second virtual community meeting to gather input on the capacity issues at Colonial Trail and Rivers Edge Elementary Schools. On November 17th, Ms. Kinsella hosted a third virtual community meeting to gather input on effectively using the additional capacity at Holiday Elementary School. And all three of these virtual community meetings were recorded and these recordings have been available on the HCPS website. At the December 10th school board meeting, Mr. Sorensen provided an update and presented a targeted redistricting plan to help reduce the overcapacity issues at Colonial Trail and Rivers Edge Elementary. And staff is seeking the school board's approval of that, tar of that proposed targeted redistricting plan this evening. And I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. Okay, I'll go around the, the um, board again. Reverend Cooper, do you have any comments on this proposal? I do not, ma'am. Okay, um, Ms. Shea? No, ma'am. Ms. Atkins? I do not. All right, Ms. Kinsella, I'll throw it to you. I do not. Wow, I'm surprised I'm gonna be the only one. Um, I just wanted to, uh, I'll, I'll provide a couple of comments uh, that I'm, the ones I'm receiving are positive. Um, it is an unusual circumstance when you're redistricting and people are happy about it. But in the three chop district, the overwhelming comments I have received are positive about rejoining, especially the Twin Hickory community and back into Twin Hickory Elementary School. Um, I do want to note though, um, there is grave concern over uh, the fact that even though we are in this redistricting plan, we are leaving Rivers Edge Elementary School overcrowded. I wanna be sure that um, the people in my district understand that we understand that. Um, I'm going to, and I've done it many times, I'm gonna steal Mrs. Kinsella's line that we uh -huh. cannot redistrict ourselves out of this problem. And so we are leaving uh, River's Edge uh, at a capacity that w is a problem. And we know that. Um, so I, I just want to assure everyone that I, I am in close contact with Mr. Brandon about this problem and um, it is not lost on either one of us that this is a concern. So if anyone is curious as to what we are planning to do, um, all you have to do is look to our CIP. And there, you know, it's a redistricting question, but our CIP is the solution. And so we are looking at several capacity projects that will help with this. Um, and, and, and I just thought I would take a moment just to point it out so the community can can know that this is a priority for us. Uh, we are looking at an addition at an elementary school. We are looking at when uh, Longan Elementary is rebuilt, it will be rebuilt with greater capacity. Uh, when Jackson Davis um, is rebuilt, it will be rebuilt with uh, greater capacity. And we also have on in our CIP, 
the possible development at Kane Road property for um, an elementary school and a secondary school. And I just think it's important to note that all of us are constantly monitoring uh, class sizes, enrollments, um, all of that and capacity issues. It is ongoing work. So I'd like for us to, um, as a part of this discussion today, get a consensus on when we will revisit this again. We did this last year. We committed to um, looking at redistricting again in September. We've been through that process now. And um, so if I could have some discussion for just a moment on when we need to look at the possibility of comprehensive redistricting in the future and when, so I can put it on the radar of our staff and we can discuss that at a future meeting, just what your thoughts are on that topic before we vote. When, when we previously discussed the topic, I know that um, when last we did, when last we discussed it, when we approved the capital plan, um, I know I had said that um, I was interested in keeping an eye on Hungry Creek Middle School because it tends to um, find itself over capacity as well. Though when we voted, it was only at 90% capacity. Right. Um, back in December, Ms. Ogburn, we said that we were going to um, perhaps look at things in the fall when we when enrollment um, uh, when new enrollment numbers came in. Are okay. you suggesting that perhaps we look at it now as part of budget discussion? Um, no. What I if 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 we're going to look at it in the fall of twenty one, I just I have been asked by a number of people. You we have put an end right now with just doing okay. these two capacity um, projects. When are we going to look at comp possibly doing comprehensive again? Are right. we? And okay. if we are, when would, I just want, uh, I have been asked by so many people, when are you going to look at this again? So I'd like to be able to say, and I agree with you, fall is the, is the time. I think um, fall 2021 is Right. Is, I believe what, it's what we said when we um, just decided to focus on target hotspots. I would agree. So, Ms. Um, Shea, fall 2021. Okay, Mrs. Shea, you're. Yeah, I concur with Ms. Kintella. I know redistricting is hard, and we kind of all wish we could close our eyes and it would go away and fix itself. Uh, but Ms. Kintella has schools over capacity. You have schools over capacity. I have schools over capacity. I know for a fact. Um, and, you know, Ms. Atkins has a high school pretty close capacity. You know, we all have issues that we need to look at. Um, when we originally, to remind the public, when we originally started looking at these hotspots for redistricting, there was a third one in there um, that Ms. Um, Ogburn and I um, share some of those communities. Um, and we put a pause on that one. We tabled that one because right now we're doing programmatic reviews and we think that could uh, affect capacity. So we tabled it for a year to see how any programmatic changes may change that capacity. But, you know, part of the understanding, you know, in tabling it is that it, it was going to come back for discussion at some time. And I think it is imperative that we have the September 2021 enrollment data because this is not a year to be basing uh, in, in any uh, decisions on this year's enrollment. So we've got to have those September 2021 enrollment okay. numbers. All right. So what I, I I think I'm getting a consensus here that maybe in October of 21 we will put this on our radar to revisit. And everybody nods their heads that this is okay. So October of 21. Well, we, well. Mrs. Ogburn, if I don't have an opportunity to chime Absolutely. in on this discussion, I think that would be uh, critical. I think, you know, I do agree with reviewing and having the discussion in October. However, prior to that, I think we also need to have a discussion on the process. Okay. Uh, so while I agree in October, we have a formal sort of school board agenda topic. I also think that it is wise to have some sort of discussion prior to that with the board. Two, two, ones, whatever you want to, however you want to do it. But prior to that, I think discussions are necessary 
so that we can talk about the process that's almost as important as the get to the result. So that's just my, my uh, input on this. Okay, absolutely. I think that's a great idea. Um, so we will plan to revisit this um, in October formally at a meeting. And prior to that, we will have a discussion on the process we will follow to get and what our desired outcomes are, et cetera. Okay, great plan. All right, so um, any other discussion on redistricting? I think I am good. All right, is there a motion to approve the redistricting plan that is before us? So moved. Thank you, Ms. Atkins. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Ms. Kinsella. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion carries. Roll call, Mrs. Atkins. Aye. Ms. Reverend Cooper. Aye. Ms. Kinsella. Aye. Ms. Shea. Aye. And I vote aye. The aye motion carries, and our redistricting plan is approved.